This is my favorite kind of device. It's made by hackers for hackers. This is Ninebox. Now, while it looks like kind of a cute little device, this is one of the more powerful BLE and Wi-Fi devices I've seen. They created this thing called the Ninebox, which is 3D printed, but it is very capable. The Ninebox does Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So this just disrupts just about anything that's wireless. I want one of these too. When it comes to Wi-Fi, this thing has all of the features that we've come to expect. Wi-Fi scanners, channel analyzers, beacon spam, evil portal. It can even detect ponegachis. Then when it comes to Bluetooth, this thing starts to really shine. With three NRF24s and an ESP32, this thing can control the entire spectrum of Bluetooth. But that's not all. The Ninebox has actually got a few tricks up its sleeve. The Nyan Box can actually detect axon devices like body cameras or tasers. And you know those flock cameras? It can detect those too. Snoop onto them as they snoop onto us. And make sure you stick around to the end because we're going to do live demos on a bunch of features. It's got so many cool things it can do. That's enough intro. This is Nyanbox. A quick disclaimer up top, only test your own devices or devices you have expressed permission to test. This is me right now giving myself permission to test all of my devices. All right, so let's switch cameras so we can get up close and personal with this thing. So this is Nyanbox. It was designed by two staples of the community, Jbo Hack and ZR Kraken. You may remember ZR Kraken. He's the guy who made that case right there. And fun fact, Jbo Hack was actually one of the original devs for Extreme Custom Firmware. So they are well established in the community. Now, since we've got it out right here, we can kind of see, I did print this case myself. ZR Kraken designed the case for it and the PCB, and then Jbo Hack did the software. I printed this with Bamboo Galaxy PLA. We've got some cool colors, some silk on there. And then I designed this really fun graphic on the back. The little cat ears on there are actually for a lanyard because we were wearing these things around at DEF CON. We even gave one to Zero Day, Ryan Montgomery. He liked the project, so he was wearing it the entire time as well. Let's flip it around, and Jbo Hack actually set up a really cool feature. We can hook this up through USB and actually view the screen on our computer, which for the sake of this video is extremely helpful. The screen itself is super easy to read, but with the camera, it makes it a little bit more complicated. So let's get right into all the awesome features we can do on here. So as far as Wi-Fi goes, we do have the normal Wi-Fi scan, channel analyzer, Wi-Fi deauthor, a deauth scanner, a beacon spam, evil portal, and ponegachi detector. So one good demo I can show off is the channel analyzer. So it goes through and scans all the channels and tells you exactly how many devices are on each channel. So right now we can see that I'm kind of oversaturated on channel one and 11. There's eight devices on channel 11. So I should probably go ahead and redo some of my devices to make sure they're not all yelling at the same channel at the same time. It's a pretty useful thing to be able to do. All right, moving on. Now we get to the Wi-Fi deauthor. So the way a Wi-Fi deauth works is that the device will find a network and it will ask all the devices connected to said network to disconnect. In the case of this device, it doesn't have onboard storage to collect handshakes, so it's more or less just kicking devices off of the network. We also have a deauth scanner, so you can tell, you know, if things are trying to actually deauth your network. So if we load that up, I'm going to grab this device right here, which is actually my evil card pewter. I can go over to the auto deauthor and it will start to deauthing right now. And you'll check on here real quick. Ooh, there it goes. And yeah, you can see that I'm just bombarding my entire network with deauthentication requests. All right, I'm going to stop that. And I do want to point out, I do have permission to test this network. It is my own and I gave myself permission. It's actually a really useful feature because if you think someone is attacking your network, you can catch them in the act. Here's another fun one. This is the Ponegachi Spam. So let's grab our Flipper Zero. Editing Sasquatch here. I just realized I have a way cooler shot of this using the AWOC Dual Touch. Check this out. So what's going on right now is that the Nyan box is actually emulating a whole bunch of Ponegachis and flooding the entire airspace with those. And if you don't know, a Ponegachi is a device that allows penetration testers to test a Wi-Fi security against a dictionary attack. Here's another fun demo. Check out Beacon Spam. So the Nyan box gives you the option of either making random beacons or you can target beacons so that they all look the same thing. I think that the random one's more fun for this demo. So we'll get that going and let's grab our Flipper Zero. We're gonna start scanning the access points and let's see what this really does. It's just flooding. There is so much stuff going on in this network and it's all just nonsense and garbage. It just goes and goes and goes. Obviously in the wrong environment, this could cause quite the headache. Obviously we're testing this in a controlled environment where no one else is gonna be exposed to these networks. So it's just an educational experiment. 
All right, so let's get out of there and stop spamming all this stuff. So those are just some of the features for Wi-Fi, but let's get back into BLE because BLE has got some really, really fun stuff on there. Obviously, you can do a BLE scan to scan for all of the BLE devices around you. You can scan for Nyan boxes. Let's go ahead and scan for Flipper Zeros because we know we got those around here. Just going to go ahead and give it a couple seconds. And now you can see all three of my Flipper Zeros. Is this something that you'll use every single day? No, but the developers definitely want to make sure that the Nyan box has every feature they can possibly pack into it. Now, one feature that they didn't pack into it was this segue to today's sponsor. TriHackMe's biggest event of the year, the advent of Cyber 2025, is back. Starting December 1st, it is a 24-day cybersecurity challenge advent calendar leading up to Christmas. Every day you unlock a brand new bite-sized hacking challenge so you can learn new skills without getting overwhelmed. It is super beginner friendly, no experience needed. Each task comes with step-by-step -step guidance and video walkthroughs from huge creators in the space. Folks like John Hammond, Zero Day, Bearded IT Guy, Unix Guy, Day Cyberwalks, and I'll be there too. You'll be learning alongside thousands of people worldwide and not grinding alone. All this runs right in your browser on TryHackMe. Click a button, spin up a lab, and it's just like testing real machines. Plus, there's Echo, their AI tutor, to help you learn concepts and help you get unstuck. And yeah, you can win actual hacker gear just for learning. Laptops, hacker tools like the Flipper Zero and the Rubber Ducky, DEF CON tickets, certifications, and more. Hit the link in the description and sign up early so you'll be ready when the advent of cyber starts on December 1st. A bunch of rooms are free, and if you want full access, you can use my code SAS25 for 25% off an annual plan. Thank you so much, TryHackMe, for the continued support. You guys are absolutely awesome. Let's get back at it. Now, this is a feature I can really get behind. It's Axon Detection. Now, Axon makes body cameras, dash cameras, tasers, all sorts of devices used by government agencies. So being able to detect those within the context of a penetration test, that could be very useful. I also love the fact that it has a card skimmer detector. So, you know, those things that the criminals are putting on like gas station pumps and stuff. This thing can detect those and, you know, save the day. So if you're ever at a gas station, Nyan Box could help you out there. Here's the fun one, the AirTag detector and AirTag spoofer. So let's go ahead and detect an AirTag. I've got one sitting right here. I took the battery out of it, but pop the battery in real quick and it chirped. Let's see if we detect it. Hey, we found my AirTag, super fun. So now that we've done that, take the battery back out of there and we're gonna go ahead and spoof that AirTag. So now we can recreate this AirTag, which is no longer plugged in. So effectively what I've done is made it so that the Nyan box is the AirTag. So I'm just gonna grab my Marauder V7 by Just Call Me Coco and go ahead and sniff for AirTags. Hello, see what we come up with. And yeah, there it is right there. It couldn't be easier. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Let's see, uh, let's keep moving. Now we have our BLE spammer. This one's super fun if you've never seen it before. So we're just gonna go to random, BLE spam random. And then on my phone, I'll say pair new device. Let's uh, go ahead and start this. And yeah, as you can see, this thing is just spamming a ton of Bluetooth devices with just gibberish names. So many of them, it's crazy. Obviously this could create some chaos, but we're in a controlled environment, so we don't have to worry about that for our educational video. So now we have our Swift pair, which has more or less been patched out on Android because it used to pull up like devices that would show up to try to connect over and over again, but better security has mostly patched that out. And then we have Sour Apple. Sour Apple actually exposed a Bluetooth vulnerability in iOS 17. And what's cool about it is because of people in this community, Apple actually patched it. And then BLE Spoofer just allows the device to impersonate another Bluetooth device. And again, we're only testing devices that we have permission to test or own ourselves. So those are most of the Bluetooth features. Again, they're adding features to this almost every week. They're constantly working on this project. So it's a lot about the capability of the hardware because more features are going to keep coming out. So let's go down to other because this is where it gets interesting. This is the flock detector. These are all of the cameras that are detecting your license plate whenever you're driving around. I don't think I have any flock cameras anywhere near me, so it's probably not gonna find anything, but I'm gonna drive around and see how many things this thing comes up with. Also, we have just a kind of straight up scanner. So this is gonna go through all of the channels and scan for things and see if anything comes up. You can see it's kind of like a waterfall. It's just kind of a great visualization of what's going on around you. And again, as I told you before, I'm kind of in a controlled environment, so there's really not that much going on around me. And then of course we have the analyzer. 
It's another really great visualization of what's going on on different frequencies and on different channels, because you can see it's hopping between channels. Super useful. Now, if we go into the settings, there's actually some interesting stuff going on here under the hood. So now you'll notice that we have this toggle to off. I also want to point out that I have installed custom firmware to this, so it does not ship with this version of the firmware. Now, when we toggle that mode on, it unlocks some additional features. Now, I won't be able to demonstrate those features. However, it does unlock the full potential of all those antennas because of course we are an ethical hacking channel and we don't want to violate any of the regulations of the region we live in but it can turn a bluetooth speaker off from pretty darn far away allegedly so yeah, that's the Nyan box by Nyan Devices. Jbohack and ZR Kraken have been mods in my Discord community for literally forever, and I'm really happy to help them support this device, because honestly, it's pretty freaking awesome. Plus, with the addition of flock and axon detection, I can see this thing being pretty freaking useful nowadays. What was your favorite feature of the Nyan box? Leave a comment down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolute legends. We'll catch you next time.